Hello, and welcome back to Queen's Wish the Conqueror, um, where we were we had an unsuccessful attempt at this particular dungeon last time, and we're going to take a second shot at it right now. Yes. Now let's go. So we're going to take this a lot more seriously than we did last time, considering that we had only one survivor out of our four party members in the last attempt. Infected boar. Uh, this one's the mage. We probably want to take it out first. It's going to have less health. Well, we'll ignore these two. Uh, we'll see if that helps. Uh, applied weakness. Yeah, see, these, this is going down way faster. Target the, the ones that aren't wearing armor and don't have weapons, and you'll get stuff done. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I actually want to go one closer, and I'm going to regret this. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can't really do a steel dart, so I could hit three of them, couldn't I? Sure. Apply that bleeding debuff. Ooh. Yeah, that was, um, hmm. Hey, one down. I guess we'll do it this way, and we can still hit two. Okay, we got through. Two, three. I don't like all these evadings. Oh, that's really annoying. What is that echoing? Echoing sound. Is that from the game? I've never heard that sound effect in this game before. Okay. Mages are both down. There shouldn't be anybody left who can nuke down my health really fast. Okay, well, we took them out. Got our one energy back. So this dungeon's probably just going to be a gauntlet. And if every fight's going to be that hard, 
Um, it's going to take a while. It's going to be actually a pretty tough uh, place to get through. I don't know, that first fight was with the two wolves was almost trivial, and then this fight um, was a lot scarier. There's a lake in the middle of this clearing. Yes, and Ariel stands on a rocky outcropping in the middle of the lake. Even from here, you can tell from his glassy stare and jerky movements that he has been entirely lost to the forest. He begins to cast a spell. Huge, tangled clumps of plant matter begin to rise out of the lake. It is a highly involved spell, and it is powerful. As long as he goes uninterrupted, he can continue to cast it... Uh, cast it, yes. Well... Crawler, back to full. Well, let me see how this is going to go. Oh, infected wolf, okay. The infected wolves weren't too bad, as I recall. What? Oh, that was out of range, okay. Shield shatter. We'll just take him out with range attacks. Terror. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Where that wolf's going? Mental effect. So it's not a curable effect. So she's gonna run. Wait for three turns. Mm -hmm. That's really bad. It's so bad. We're gonna figure out that this doesn't work on mental effects. Okay. Well. Yeah, you're, you're just creating minor monstrosities. Uh, this particular encounter feels like the kind of thing that wouldn't necessarily respawn. Yeah. Ooh. Um, that's kind of serious, actually. A little scared. Uh, confusion. Great. Okay, she's no longer scared. We killed him. We didn't get a text right away, but... Oh, did the confusion not do anything? Unable to move, right? We got it. Free mind. Yep, immune to mental effects. Excellent. Uh, the game does know that it's dead, right? The minor monstrosity should stop being summoned. Still can't move, huh? Wonder if I should be doing another blessing. Okay. 
Okay, you can move. Excellent. Really annoying. Put on another free mind, but I don't know how much of my energy I want to be using. Fusion, okay. Uh, that's fine. Stun for turn, yeah. Right, so this particular enemy, because it was actually a human, um, may not respawn if I have to replay the dungeon again. Oh, okay, that's... Mine doesn't... Doesn't uh, show up on the map, that's why. Looks incomplete. You find a huge plant monstrosity, the largest you have found so far. It sways back and forth, tendrils extended, if it seeks prey. You will have to chop your way past it to proceed. It is a huge horror, but it must be a symptom of the disease, not the source. Whatever is causing this disease, it is near. You can feel it. Uh, monsters bloom. Okay, well... Okay, yeah, that's a lot of health. Wait, uh, did that say immune to bleed? That is way too much health. And summoning is about to occur. Uh, oh. Can't move. Well, that's great. Curable effect, so I should get rid of it. Okay, vulnerable, good. I might actually want to back you off so that you're not... ...necessarily taking huge hits. Uh, resisted everything. You hear fishes snarl. Wolves have walked out of the thick woods entering the clearing with bared fangs. Your heart sinks. Just another foe to overwhelm you. Then you realize that these wolves aren't tainted. They are normal, huge, vicious animals that run toward the huge monstrosity ready to tear it apart. Watch your chimera wasn't lying. He has sent help. Okay. Watch as this thing now charms them all. Probably. Oh, 
shoot. Um, well, we'll attempt this again. No oh, weakness actually applied this time. He turns a poison. Oh boy. Hey, those wolves actually got an action. Yeah, bleeding immune. Well, not much point in doing much of anything then. Just lay on the damage. Be the one I need to. Was wolves ever going to get an action? Wow. The monstrosity opens several of its flowers. The smell of pollen fills the grove. However, the odor isn't pleasant. It's thick and foul. It makes you choke. You have to struggle to keep from fleeing the grove. And you just spawned two skeletons. Okay, well... Just take those down real quick. Oh, maybe the wolves can't see it. I was afraid that was going to happen. Uh... It's unresisted. Okay, well, that's the last of our energy. Yeah, they're just passing their turns. Ah, uh, the monstrosity opens several more flowers. A new wave of pollen fills the grove. It smells lovely. You can't stop inhaling it. It becomes hard to remember you're in the deep forest fighting for life. You just want to relax. More skeletons, okay. Hmm. Fusion on one person, that's fine. Our turns. Of course, this is just a single enemy, so all of the energy that I spent here, I'm not getting any of that back. Resist, okay. You've hacked the monstrosity to death. It collapses to the ground. You cut off one of its seed pods. It will be a nice trophy on the wall of your mansion someday. Yet the evil aura still infuses the grove. Your job here is not yet done.
Okay, we're gonna transfer that over so that we have our big AoE heal if we need it. Are we completely out of potions? Uh, we have one energy potion left on our mage. Hmm. That's fine. Oh, this is a dead end. Wait, okay. Lost plant worker. At last you find the source of the illness. There is a blessed man sitting in this ruin. He's very old. His skin is like bark, cracking and oozing. Vines wrap around his legs. He's been out here for a long time. Once these ruins were proper buildings. He lived in them, performing some mad magic. And he was consumed by it. He is the source of the disease, and he has been waiting many years for someone to free him. Oh, it is a fight. Okay, of course it's a fight. Spread out. Uh, he doesn't actually seem that bad, okay. The hideous plant man collapses to the ground. He looks up at you. For one moment, his humanity returns to him. He croaks, thank you. I have a new idea. Then he dies. Moments later, your head clears. You feel better. It will take many years to purge the corrupt magic from this forest, but the healing can finally begin. All right. Money, Quicksilver, Quicksilver. We get another encounter at the end. Honey, ooh. Armor of the Ariel. Plus some to Radiance. What is that? Uh, plus 10 mental resistance is nice, though. Uh, cold Point Orb. Well, that's definitely an upgrade. I'll take that. It's funny how, out of all of the gear in this game, it's like everything that you uh, make in your towns and your forts seems to be better than the stuff you find out in the world, with the exception of the wizard's equipment. Uh, and we only ever find enough wizard's equipment for one person, so I guess that's a good, a good thing. Uh, aerial warbow, huh? How does it compare? Five percent crit chance, one more damage than what we've got. Okay. Well, someone might as well use it. And um, we got everything, okay. Alright, that's a way back. What's down here? A way out? Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, I have purged the disease. I sensed it. I am grateful. Now I must stay here for a while. I must seal the wound. It will be a hard, lonely work. I miss Michidi. Still, it is my duty as a watcher. You should return to Michidi and tell Ivan they're not really terrible at all. He will appreciate it. Okay. Now that's been cleared. I don't actually get anything for that, though, do I? First of all, let's um, stock up on... everything. Uh, 
Uh, right, I don't have a smithy here. Uh, I can sell stuff to this person up here, though. Ash longbow. Yeah, I'll sell that. Keep the inventory somewhat clear. Uh, right, we need tier 2 combat skill for our... Uh, for our priest, I guess, just for the sake of wearing equipment. Okay, next, we go back to Deepwood Keep. So that we can equip that new orb. Install augments. Did I? Wow. I never put the augments in this thing after equipping it. Well, that'll save me some money. So we need three augments here. We can put in. Uh, well. So what happened to my old augments? Did I just sell them? Because I have these. But I can get better than that. It's boring, but what we're going to do is we're just going to stick double haste into this thing. Haste augment. Uh, fleet foot augment. And then probably steel augment for the third. A uh, strong will augment might actually not be bad for her, given that she's the one who has the uh, mental healing type stuff. And she doesn't take that many uh, hits. So yeah, we'll go mental resist. That's fine. Oh, actually, while I'm here. Is there a flask? So this is curing. Is there a flask that has mental curing? Negative effects. Negative effects. So jar of medicine is just the same. Negative effects. No. Okay. So. Oh. There we go. Looking pretty good. Lots of mental resist. Should I just sell these at this point? Am I ever going to use them for anything? I don't think I am. Especially not the plus one armor. If I can buy plus two. Plus two physical damage, we might hold on to that. That's something I could see myself using at some point. Ever open up another slot. Okay. Oh, no. Have to do that this way. Woods is done. Uh, Mind Warpers have to go to Machidi. I have, I have two quests here. A Glorious Spear and Astara of Sliven. Right. I guess I'll go back and talk to Astara and say that the other guy refused to work with me. That's an option. Wait, where am I going? Uh, I'm going up here, aren't I? Left, uh, okay, well, it's over. Is this where Ivan was? 
You sell anything to me? I'd like to see your wares. Right, just random stuff. I don't remember. Ah, here he is. Now uh, the monstrosity has been destroyed. Yes, yes, he listens and nods, though he doesn't seem to be paying attention. Pity, I expected more of a surprise. Just a bit of moss or lichen that drew too much magic, grew out of control, and started to kill. We get these every few years. Thank you for getting rid of it. I will have a shipment of Pooslover sent to you as payment for your efforts. Uh, what steps do you take now? I... wait, what steps? What do you mean? I mean to keep horrors like this from appearing again. Again? There is always a new problem. No important job is ever truly done. Defenses must always be rebuilt. Crimes always happen. There is always another horde of monsters around the corner. The best we can hope for is a moment of rest. Okay. Oh, plus five quicksilver for me. Yeah, this is all stuff I've already said, it looks like. I guess we're done with him. Um, glorious spear. What am I doing with this? Uh, right. Search the vault for unique crystals. That's what that is. Uh, he wants you to help understand their magic. Explore Sacramento if you're near. The secret magic guy will let you know. Investigate when you have found something to report back to Esfeth. I guess I'm just going to hold on to it. Uh, Adam's errands. He would keep. I guess I could try to talk to him about that. I thought I cleared them all. Maybe I missed one. You need help getting the fort established. How can I recognize these camps? Why did the aerial tolerate them? Another question. No, it looks like I'm not. Um, I haven't cleared enough of them yet or something. Okay, well. I guess I can check the map then and see if there's anywhere I haven't been. I've been to that one. Uh, while I'm here, I guess I could go back to Sliven real quick. Talk to Astara. I met Lonius. He is skeptical. You tell the story. Astara is furious. Surprisingly so. It takes some time for her to calm down. Maybe the effects of the, eliz of the elixir. The fool, the idiot! Doesn't he see that things are only getting worse? Now we have a chance for change, an actual change. What does this mean? He calms down a little more. Lonius is skeptical, but he has not said no. He knows that there is a problem, but he is not angry. I need to make him angry. I have an idea. First, please give me a minute. She stalks off into the bedroom to screen and smash furniture for a while. Oh boy. Can you still help me to make the Ariel Haven's vassal? When you put it like that, it makes me feel dirty. Yet yes, this is what I offer in return for your help. I want to goad the trench towns into action. Go on. Your Haven's envoy, our High Council and High Alhovo, must hear what you say. Even the blessed are not baffled enough to turn you away. Go there, meet with them, tell them that the trench towns are neglected, ask a simple question. What are they going to do about our complaints? Okay. Why should this be done? A hunch. I think I understand them. I think their response will be infuriating. Will it be enough to push the trench towns to action? Will it awaken these those sniffling fools? I hope so. Okay. Well. Maybe. Did I ever go in here? I'm just gonna quickly run into all of these little alcoves. Something emerges. Okay. Mireling bite.
Uh, Marlin Crash, sure. Sure, I'll take you out. Or not. We'll just miss. That, that's, uh, that's an option, too. Okay, pretty easy fight overall. Uh, the Marlings are gone. The roads will be a tiny bit safer. You've done a lot of hunting. You can report some proper progress to Chief Adam now. Okay. Well, in that case... Let's just do that. I thought I went in there before, but... I've destroyed several Marling camps. And the crime on the roads has already decreased. It is good to do for the aerial things they won't do for themselves. Offering such services is a great way for Haven to get vassals. Any other errands I can run? Yes, a sad one. I have to send out scouts occasionally, but it is dangerous. These woods will try to kill the unwary. My group of four went to Pickett's Break. Three of them were foolish enough to enter despite my orders. The fourth returned with the tail. I think they are dead, but I would like to verify it. The aerial would dare to kill Haven soldiers? The aerial rely on their enchanted forests to destroy invaders. Their woods act mindlessly, and the blessed are not interested in watching closely. Still, even if our warriors die because of aerial carelessness, it is no less an outrage. Uh, okay. Find out Pickett's Break. There's the gap to Thicket's uh, between the south and the north. Yep, I know that. Uh, you'll have to pass it to reach the northern aerial woods. The break is northeast of here. I've already done that, so... I wonder if I'm going to be able to complete this, or if I'm going to have to go back there and investigate. Why send out scouts? It is necessary. We have to make sure the aerial don't attack. We can't let monsters too close to our walls. It's standard procedure. But you know how even scouts are. They're always wanting to push up farther and show their courage. Um. Okay. Uh, well. Right, I can't actually um, do that while I'm in a city. Uh, pick its break. What is this place? Mm -hmm, we've talked about this. Who hunts here, as far as I know? None of these people are going to have anything to say. Right, I guess we wander through. Looking for signs of the dead. been in here. Shouldn't be any enemies. Not sure if any of these roads are ever going to open up for me or not. Doesn't look like it. Not at this point. Mm -mm. I wonder if I did things in the wrong order and now I can't complete this quest. Because I can't talk to the people who are here. I could have asked them about the scouts and they would have said, yeah, we killed them. And that would have been the proof that I needed. But... Um... As it is...
There's a little... I'll go here that I can reach now. This grove contains a bunch of old gnawed bones. Nothing surprising, not in the deep, dangerous woods of the Ariel. Then you look closer. There are a few scraps of uniform and a couple bits of military insignia among the bones. Haven colors, haven medals. These were your soldiers. Someone trapped them in these woods and killed them. You feel growing anger. Elgin isn't just threatening you. He was also he also murdered those under your protection. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, whoops. You could keep. Report that. I found your scouts. Hey, got a level out, out of this. Very nice. Chief Adam is enraged. Tragic and easily avoidable. Curse the Ariel. They have charm, but they are fools. Arrogant children killing with their toys. That he should answer for this. Uh... The Ariel will pay in blood. I mean, they kind of already did. I killed the people responsible. Uh, the main mission is to make the Ariel our vassals. I will do what is needed. With difficulty, the chief calms down. Of course, I am sorry, Prince. I know we have a mission. I will trust you to do what the queen would want, but you still see the rage in his eyes. Any more errands I can run? No, Nathan, I can't keep you here. I think if the Ariel are to be our vassals, you will need to go north. I won't delay you. Okay, level up. Well... I mean, we could work our way up to more energy. Um, evasion and speed is nice, but I don't know that I want to spend a whole bunch of uh, points on that all of a sudden. I think more energy. Oh yeah, getting raw power would be very good. So we'll do that. Three more turns of bleeding. I mean, I don't like this because we're getting to a point now where our characters are kind of all turning into the same thing. Because there's just there's so many skill points that I have at this point, and relatively few abilities that I actually want. Uh, weaken. Yeah, I'll go with that. Not that we'll ever use it. Uh, that works towards your tier 2 military equipment. Uh, that would be nice. I guess that's what we work on now with you, because we've got uh, Radiance, passive ability. Okay, yep, good to have plus one on that. Uh, enemies will be less likely to target you, sure. We'll work our way up to... Probably curing, honestly. I could give that to my wizard. Give her something to do. Curing and, I guess, teleport. And then grab paste. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, don't get me wrong. Leveling up is still very good, and it is useful. But it's just not nearly as exciting as it was at low level. Because now it's just kind of like, well, I've already kind of got my build done. I'm just... Getting other stuff done along the way, you know? Uh, motherly advice, what is this quest? You build Haven's second forest for. Oh, camped in the aerial thicket. I see. Whoops, I, since since today is apparently a um, side quest completing day, I'm just gonna clean up as many of these as I can. Fort Mist has been rebuilt. Margaret laughs. I'm quite tickled. I heard some rumors that you could be a bit. Undirected, Prince. You're quite confident. The soldiers back her up with a cheer. Anything else I can do for you, Margaret? Oh, don't worry about us. We all do our jobs. Have no fear. You get out there and show the Ariel that nobody cheats Haven. And don't call me Margaret. Haven's warriors call me Mother. I hope you'll do me that honor. Fine. What do you think, Mother? I think we're going to win. Thank you for your help, and we wish you the best. I've been to Machidi. Tell General Toru the tale of your visit to the Northern Ariel City. He listens with great interest. This uh, Asfith Tenfingers sounds mad, even by Ariel standards. We can't achieve anything with such material. Lonia sounds like a competent fellow, but he is not a true leader. If the Trench Towns are to gain power, 
We will, you will need someone far more driven. Your time in their cities has taught us much. It might be a safe time to enter their centers of power. Where is left for me to go in the Ariel Woods? There are still towns and settlements, but you want close to their actual center of power, the source of all of their nonsense. Your high council meets in High Hovo. I suggest that you go there next. It is dangerous. It is true. However, they are the ones who can, with a word, make the Ariel become her vassals again. What if they won't, won't see me? I don't know, Prince. I am a general. I fight wars. I can't advise you to start one. Is the High Council dangerous? Very much so. Some cautious diplomacy when speaking with them might be wise. Thoughts on how to convince them to follow the treaty. They are aerial. The elixir has addled their minds. They are far beyond even the normal nonsense of their kind. I can make no prediction about speaking with them. I only know that it is necessary. Understood. Then I wish you the best of fortune, Prince. You follow a worthy path. I am sure Prince Delia would want you to know that. Okay. Oh. When I named her Delia, I didn't realize uh, that was the name of my sister. Okay, well, apparently I happened to find another Delia in the, um, whatever, realistically, the, the names of these people don't matter at all. They're just blank canvases that have joined me. That's how it is. All right. Number of quests have been significantly reduced. It doesn't look like there's any outstanding work anywhere, aside from Heil Hovo, of course. Yeah, we have a bunch of quests still, but we're doing okay. So I don't really have time to do any new dungeons or anything at this point, but I will uh, come down here and just kind of map out, um, I guess, this section. And that just leaves one big chunk of land at the end there. Probably going to have a couple more dungeons there, because that's just how it goes. Oh, we didn't get robbed. Oh, that chance also went down 10% because I cleared out that last Mirelink camp. That's really nice. That actually means my theft chance is zero if I don't have that uh, aerial artifact on me. Which I'm just keeping on me because I need to know. Oh. That's a maximum, huh? You can't have more than... More than seven. Or more than 50 of a uh, resource. Hmm. I should do something about that, then. Um, yeah. yeah we're just going to clear out a few things here. Oh, spiders. Oh, that's a lot of spiders. Sitting those five. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. You still haven't gotten a single action, Fennec. Uh, this, I really don't like the the randomness in this game with with regards to the uh, return orders. I thought there was an injured giant spider somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm hardly taking any damage either. This is just... Going through the process. There's a lot of enemies, but they're not... They're not scary enemies. those off then. Poisoned, okay. Should be fine though. Oh, you got a stun. Nice. Now we just click our way to victory. One more turn of poison. Oh, it's done, okay. This is a fortunate find. You stumble on an abandoned cache of supplies. You help yourself to some quicksilver. Eh. the one. There are a few farms well out here in the woods. It's dangerous having a little colony out here. The Ariel have to spend a lot of time chopping back the living forest before it engulfs them. Even though these Ariel are relatively poor and rustic, their farmhouses are still centuries old and beautiful. This is an old, proud people. Uh, there's a pile of lumber out here. It's damp and covered with moss. Whoever left it here forgot about it. You can send out soldiers to claim it. Oh. I didn't realize that was a pickup. Okay, cool. You cordially uh, greet the aerial farmers. They are proud, independent folks armed with swords and axes. They carve out a rough living here, fighting back the forest. They greet you. They know nothing about politics. They don't recognize your Havenite insignia, and they are happy that way. They offer you a modest meal delivering with a, delivered with a standard aerial quiet superiority. You bid them farewell and move on. Cool. Uh, okay, we've got a maze of some sort here. I wonder if this is where that um, crystal eye thing or whatever uh, will be useful. The forest is growing more cramped and claustrophobic. The canopy blocks out the sun, making it hard to see the bones poking out of the turf. There's a path here, sort of. Ariel do occasionally come out in this direction. Not many, though. You wonder if they survive. The wind blows through the dark woods. It sounds like a moan. You hear the creaking of wood coming from all directions. The howls. Okay, we've got a few fights here. Well, I went and got myself stuck in this, and now I have to deal with it. Um, and this could take a little bit longer than I was expecting, so you know what? We'll do this next time. Uh, clear this out. And then maybe get to Hyle Holo next time. We'll see. Uh, I will see you then.